Hello, welcome to Don't Pull the Chicken Switch. I'm checking in live this morning from the pool. I've got some laps to swim this morning. This is going to be another short 1.5 minute video. Uh, this morning I'd like to talk about a conundrum called shoulds versus wants. And I'm using the word shoulds with some sense of uh, liberty, meaning that a should is something that uh, either should be done or it's something that you've committed prior to do that there therefore becomes a, a should because it's a commitment you made and I'm going to compare that against a want and a should can be any number of things like I should take out the garbage when it's full I should change the toilet paper roll when it's empty when I'm the last guy I should say no to another piece of chocolate cake I should make that phone call to that colleague that I need to have a tough conversation with. I should complete that report. I should be nice and let the person pull in front of me. And then the, the challenge is, is that it comes up against a, a want. Uh, anything that's almost the antithesis or the antonym of the, the should that, we, that uh, we've committed to do. And what tends to happen is uh, earlier, uh, for example, right now, I should... Uh, complete this swimming pool uh, exercise, these laps that I've committed to do in preparation for my race. But what tends to happen is when I made that commitment yesterday evening, it was easy to do. It was very easy to say, I'm going to get up really early this morning and complete that swim. But yet, uh, when the alarm went off this morning, every, all that should uh, got slept away. And a want showed up instead, which was I wanted to not get up and do these laps. And so I'd like to challenge you, as you make or come across all sorts of shoulds in your life, and the want uh, jumps in in front of that should and, and, and wants to challenge you not to complete that should, but instead you choose, I, I want to watch TV, I want to have another piece of that chocolate cake, instead of keeping those commitments you made earlier, I'm asking you to consider following through on that should instead of giving in to the want. Now, is giving in to a want a deal breaker? Often cases it's not. If I didn't take out the garbage, meh, the next guy can do it. If I didn't replace that toilet paper roll, uh, the next guy can do it. If I have that another piece of chocolate cake as a want, it's not the end of the world. But it does play with your psyche, and over time, the shoulds in your life, the desired outcomes, the goals you want to achieve, those uh, don't get done, and it messes with your mojo. So that's my challenge to you. Hang in there, complete the should, and don't give way to the want. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time poolside.